I have a confession to make. I love myself too much to ever reproduce. To put myself through the torture. To put myself through the process of reproduction. Allow me to break it down because it all starts with sex. And nine times out of ten women doesn't even receive an orgasmic pleasure when she's hetero okay so now i'm letting somebody's filthy hands touch me i don't know where their hands been and then on top of that i didn't even receive an orgasm oh my goodness i don't know what he is shooting up what is he doing but hey i'm just supposed to just go with it <laughs> i'm just supposed to go with it not ask any questions just go with it so after that stage where you gotta bump and grind with one another not even worth a dime and then i found out oh my goodness we hit the jackpot we hit the jackpot i'm pregnant whoa so the pregnancy yikes that sounds like my body is just breaking down then being pregnant you go through morning sickness so that means i'm about to just be throwing up my nose about to just spread out my feet about to just swell up then on top of that i have to go into labor okay and they give you this gown okay this is this is how i know because most women want to get walked down the aisle all he finna do is walk you in this hospital and the only gown you about to get is the hospital gown and i know you want a wedding gown but no you about to just get a hospital gown but i digress okay so i get into this hospital it's cold it's chilly it's so much pain that goes into pushing out a human outside of you and then on top of that being a black woman your chances through this life and death experience is very high you know you might not make it out alive and i'm still doing this i'm still doing this all for the sake of oh i love you with the ungrateful clown okay pushing out a human it's not for the weak it's not easy but so many people think it is i don't know why but it doesn't look like it's easy so then after pushing a baby out i have to wear a big diaper because my body is so fresh and so open and then now the baby is here and i have to keep it alive and then they're in this newborn stage where you have to constantly feed them every four hours and you have to constantly burp them and you have to constantly read their mind as a newborn and they're so fragile and they're so weak and then on top of that dealing with a newborn i'm going through postpartum and i'm contemplating life and i'm contemplating my existence and now i don't have any time for myself mentally physically or emotionally because i have to take care of this kid and then i also have to take care of this man but then what about me okay it's like why would i put myself through this so then the newborn stage we move on to the terrible twos which they are bossy they are in charge they are intolerable it causes a lot of patience why would i want to be bossed around by a two-year-old why would i want to listen to a toddler tell me what to do i have to bribe with this kid like honestly not worth it 
for me personally it's it, it just doesn't make any sense so then we move on from that they like oh it gets better it gets better once they grow it never gets better <laughs> it's only going to get worse because then when they're in their teenage years they think the parents are embarrassing they don't want to be bothered with with you as a teenager they don't want to talk to you they don't even like you and you have to chauffeur them around and you still have to feed them but they don't like you they don't want to be bothered uh. it's just like i'm really in depth thinking about what it goes through when it comes to reproduction and everyone always say oh this was our purpose here my purpose is not your purpose okay i don't know who told y'all you are going to win a trophy or win a reward because you can have sex and reproduce kudos to you but that's just not realistic at all thank you guys so much for joining me <laughs> i'm your girl tara Chantel, and i'll see you guys on the next one